The Half an Hour Club 50. Um, if this looks a little bit finger marked on either camera, it's because I can't stop playing it. Um, you, you may have played a lot of guitars. I've played a lot of guitars. Fenders, Gibsons, Rickenbackers, Gretches, Epiphones. <sighs> I've played enough guitars, and you kind of think you know, you've you know you know what guitars are, you know good guitars, you know what the good guitars are. No, <laughs> if you've not if you've not played a Hofner Club guitar, well, I can only talk about the Club Fifty because so far I've only played the Club Fifty. Um, no, this is the. <laughs> That this is a hidden gem. Um, Club 50 was produced by Hofner, uh, first of all in 1954, ran through to 1962. Um, disappeared from the catalogue, they brought out a Club 70. Um, it was introduced, I would say, definitely as a response to Gibson's Les Paul. Gibson produced the Les Paul in 52 in quite a similar livery to this, really. Um, kind of trapezium tailpiece, two pickups, scratch plate, small, uh, single cutaway. Um, kind of in response to Fender's solid bodies. This was Gibson's statement guitar. Um, 1954, this came out around the same time Gretsch did the Duo Jet. Clearly, their response to the Les Paul. Um, this it was Hofner's version. Now, the thing about this is it weighs absolutely nothing. I mean, not literally nothing, but this might be three pounds, four pounds. I haven't put it on the scales yet. This is a 1960 model, serial number 1634. Um, this is an incredible guitar. Um, I, I kind of don't understand why we don't talk about the club series of guitars. It is extremely versatile, extremely comfortable, brilliantly made. Feels like a it feels like a classical instrument. You can you can sense the violin making heritage of Hofner who making violins from 1880 something um, and you can see that tradition and heritage here in the 1950s as they've responded to the electric guitar boom in America. It was the first Hofner that was designed as an electric guitar up until that point. In the early 50s they had been putting pickups onto their acoustics. Um, fantastic acoustic guitars um, and with great success, the electronic editions work brilliantly. These little black bar pickups are superb. It's a 50 single coil pickup, so it's not the most powerful, it's not the loudest, it's not the fullest, but crystal clear, clean tones. I mean, it is... lovely to play. If you don't have a Club 50, this may not be the Club 50 for you, but if you don't have one, try and get hold of one. It is, it's a fantastically lovely instrument, brilliantly made, um, and it's the culmination of a rich violin making heritage by Hofner, and it is their step into electric guitars. Uh, this model is, this particular guitar, is a 1960 guitar and it's, I'd say it's a transition guitar. In that, uh, 1960, Hofner introduced truss rods. When they introduced truss rods in the catalogue, the Club 50 had the toaster pickups, 
Um, you can see them here and here on a B4 and uh, a very thin. Um, so these pickups were phased out in 59 um, and truss rods were faded in. So I think this is the factory with a truss rod neck and a body that was cut for the black bar pickups. I'd say this is the best configuration because we all know why we want a truss rod. Um, but it's retained these very 50s style pickups. It's got the classic, not classic, but it's got this electronics unit came in also late 50s, maybe 59, 60. Um, it's a crazy electronics unit, but you, you get used to it and you, you start to kind of love it. Um, uh, rhythm and lead, which just cuts the volume. And then this strange combination of the bass and treble pickups and off and on. When they're off, they're on. When they're on, they're off. It's, it's a little strange. Um, so what have we done to this guitar? What have I done to this guitar? Well, myself and my luthier, Ian Malone at Malone Guitars, when it arrived with me, the electronics were dead. We fixed the electronics. It sings beautifully now. Neck was and is perfect. Um, the action on this, I'll put the measurements, the exact action measurement at the 12th fret, etc. in the comments below. Um, action is sublime, neck is straight. Um, I think, I think it's maybe had a, a reset of the neck. Um, these are, it's, it's, a, it's a, a violin uh, joint in Hofner's for obvious reasons. And I think this has been done. All of these guitars of this age should by now have had some sort of neck reset, I would I would suggest. Um, yeah, when it came to me, it, the electrics were completely dead. It's all been cleaned up. It's working perfectly. It had the wrong bridge. We've now got a period correct 1960 bridge on it. The nut is perfect. Lovely little bit of detail on the, the Hoffner nuts where they do this sort of uh, two color or three color striping. Um, the headstock, this is definitely a British guitar because this was the Selmer headstock that was put on all the Hofners. You'll see Hofners with just a plain Hofner. Um, this was Selmer in the UK who did this. Um, beautiful butterfly uh, machine heads. Um, I'll do some close-ups on all of this so you can see the detail. Um, the neck, a couple of plain marks but nothing, this guitar is just ready to go. It plays brilliantly. Um, one thing it does really well, um, uh, I guess it's, I, I, guess, I guess they would do this, um, but sort of electroacoustically, it's... scale you put some put some dirt on it and it it just is superb um, clean tones like not like strike clean tones it's not it's, it's, it's got, I think a, a different depth of clean guitar tone and of course you throw enough distortion and an overdrive that it will distort but but clean, um, oh my, my, my goodness, it just... the Club 50, um, obviously heavily associated with the Beatles, like everything Hofner. Um, uh, again, Hofners were perceived as being not expensive guitars. Um, I think I've touched on this before, mainly simply because American guitars were so expensive because of the trade 
trade tariffs on them. Um, this would have been around £900 equivalent today, I think, when it was new. Uh, that's appropriately priced. This is a not a cheap guitar, and you feel that you're holding a really lovely instrument, 1960, um, and still flying. We've restored her very sympathetically, and don't hesitate. This guitar is ready to it's it's ready to play. It's ready to go, um, and. Yeah, I think I will always have a Club 50 in my collection. Um, I think I always have a couple of Hofners in my collection because they are unrecognisably very, very, very good. Um, these are going up in value. Definitely collectible and not to be bought and put in a cupboard. These are built to be played. Um, yeah, so be like George Harrison. Be like... Oh, the list is endless. There's, there's, there's pictures of Jimi Hendrix with one of these. <sighs> Super, superb guitar. Um, thank you for watching. And there's a playing video coming up. Uh, just jamming through some minor blues with this. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Um, leave me some comments. Drop me a line. Say hello. Um, if there's anything I haven't told you about the Club 50 or about this particular guitar, let me know and I'll... I'll answer your questions. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you.